Armando takes the team to some of the local fishermen who used to rely on illegal blast fishing methods, but today use traditional methods like nets. It is a really simple process, and I can see why so many of the fishermen uh, were able to put these bombs together. He made this bomb in the space of five minutes. I asked the fisherman if he can show us how they deploy these. So we go and meet with the local Coast Guard and the local police and the local Minister of Fisheries, uh, and they agree to us going a long way offshore into deep water to set these off. We're uh, headed out to sea, off to a uh, safe area. They need to build them really fast. Uh, we'll see how effective they are. I have no clue what's gonna happen, really. I jump in the water and I swim around to make sure there's no fish. Pete decides it's safe enough to stay in the water so he can get a sense of the explosion's power. The guy gets the first of these and he's standing there with the cigarette in one hand and he's got this explosive charge in the other. Bang! And it was like being hit by a really strong electric fence or touching a socket and this whole thing, especially my belly, like my belly just went crack. The shock wave that goes through the body is quite enormous. And to think I was probably 40, 50 metres away from where the blast happened, so, you know, it's no wonder it does kill a lot of fish. Seeing that gave me an appreciation of how destructive that fishing technique is when I was a long distance from where that charge went off. We did it in open water here and there was, there was no fish around, but you imagine doing that on a coral, like it is just gonna destroy it. If you were anywhere in the shallow stuff, it would just destroy everything. Mm. Just, it's, I mean, it's exactly what it is, it's blast fishing. Yeah. You throw one of those things on a corals and it's just gonna, it's just gonna blow it apart. Mm. From what we can tell, it's not that prevalent now. The communities in some way have, have rejected it and I'm in the noise from that, holy hell. Encouraging the public to unite against dynamite fishing has proven to be an effective deterrent. But according to Armando, other destructive methods, like cyanide fishing, still go on in order to cater to the lucrative tropical fish trade. The Operatives, all new Sundays right here on Pivot.